Hi, uh, my name's Isaac, and uh, today I'm going to walk you through some of the basics of installing and using Typest. And specifically, we'll, I'll show you how to uh, get it going and then how to load uh, a couple templates, and uh, maybe uh, this will help you uh, help you out. So here we go. So the first thing we want to do is uh, open a terminal and I want to install types. So I'll use brew install types and that'll install types locally to my machine. See, I've already have it installed. So I've had no issues. Um, and, and this will essentially load the programming language onto your machine. Uh, so you'll be able to to use it. The next thing you'll want to do is open Visual Studio Code and go to extensions and you want to install these two extensions. So I'm going to install them real quick, right? And then quit and then reinstall Visual Studio Code. Okay. Go to the extensions, type types. There's two you'll need. You'll need the LSP. That will give you all the formatting. Uh, that's nice, all the syntax highlighting that you'll want. And then the preview will give you real-time previews. So you click install for that. And there you go. So I'm not an admin on an admin account here. I'm on a guest account. So this is stored locally on the user account on this machine. So um, those, those will essentially get you going with types. So um, let's do a couple things. Let's... Let me first show you how you can do some typing in types. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go to my documents and I'll create a types folder. And then in my types folder, we'll do uh, example one. So this is the folder we're going to load. So in VS Code, I'll open the folder and I'll go over to documents. And we want types. Oops, I actually want that. I want to go to documents, types. Example one, open. There we go. So now I'm in this workspace. So I need a new file. So let's create a new file and we'll call it uh, example one.typ. So typ is your extension uh, for types. And yeah, I want to create that file. So let's do a few things. Let's do hello world. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So um, I want to see my output. So to see my output, uh, I want to use the preview uh, so I can do command KV. So how did I get to this? I did command shift P and that gives me this all this information. I can type types and I can preview the current file and it'll show what I'm doing and so as I'm adjusting text and it appears in real time right I can type math so I could say f of x is equal to sine of x right I can do that I can do let's do another formula i don't know let's try tan of x um uh, let's do this frac let's do a fraction oh i don't need the frac command maybe I'll just do like four x squared over three x plus four right and it automatically recognizes the fraction if I was doing LaTeX, I would have to type frac to get this uh, sort of output. But I'm in types, so I don't have to do that. Right? And if I want section headings, I can do heading, subheading, sub, sub, heading, right, etc. Right? And what's really nice is as I'm doing this, I'm getting real time. Um, output which uh, which is a benefit that you don't normally see 
Now you can see in my folder I only have a type file. I haven't actually saved this. But because we have that other um, extension installed, as soon as I save, so I'm going to Command S, it will generate a PDF. So what I do is I can come over here, reveal it in the folder, right? And I can open this with Preview. And there's your PDF, right? So what's really nice is you get your PDF extremely quickly. Um, and it's and you can um, open it and it's all typeset, right? So this is nice if you're doing, I deleted it. That's why it went away. Um, I, I can save and it'll generate it again, right? So that's essentially how you can do some LaTeX typing. If you want to do italic text, you can underscore. If you want to do bold text, um, you know, if you want to do a bold test, when you do that, you want italic. You do that. All right. I imagine it works the other way too. Yep, same thing. So the order doesn't matter there, right? And what's nice is as you're typing in line text, right, it'll shift and move things around appropriately, right? So I hit save, it'll regenerate that PDF. Right, there it is. So there's all your new text that appears. So that, that's essentially how you can get started with doing types. So let's create a new folder, okay? So now the question is, well, how do I type an IEEE document? Or how do I try type a, a templated document? So you come over here and you go to Types, Universe. And this is a new feature uh, since um, it's probably less than a month old at this point. And so you can have a couple of different um, letters. So here's one here. If you want an AIAA template, you can click this. And now let's say I want to... Um, I want to basically use this template. Or there's a couple ways I can do it. I could go to the GitHub page here. I could click this link to GitHub. I could copy the whole code, right? Copy, right? I could do that. That's one way to do it. Another way you could do this is um, another way you could do this is you could just type this command which is really nice. So we go to terminal and let's go create, let's make a directory example two. And I'm gonna CD into that. So now I'm in that folder, okay? There's nothing in there. And I want to type this command, types init preview. And when you hit enter, it will download all the files needed and uh, put them in that folder. So let's just check it real quick. So in the example two folder, right? So there's example two. There's this thing bam done AAA, right? And that involves these files, right? Types and references, right? Which you're going to need for your document. Right, and I can open this document up. Um, oh yeah, I don't want to. Let's open it with VS Code. Open with Visual Studio Code. So open folder, example two, open. Here's your type file. So this is like commented out code, some imports. What this does is this imports the AIAA template and um, it's local equations that you're, you're going to, these local commands you're going to need. It uses a drop cap environment for the first letter, so you're going to need to load the drop cap package for this as well. Um, and essentially, you can modify this now. You don't see a preview. So let's, let's, let's generate a preview. So we come up, Command Shift P, and we look at Types Preview, and we can preview the file. This is what it looks like. If I click, it'll automatically take to it, it, it put me into the template, which I don't really need the template right now. Um, let's go into this file. We can make some adjustments. So you can say, you know, I can put my name right and it automatically adjusts. Right, I can adjust the nomenclature section. 
Right, I can say, oh, I don't have A, I have alpha. Right, and alpha is now the amplitude of oscillation here. Um, and essentially, you're off to the races. Right, you can do equations and figures, and I'll do some more uh, some more videos about how that works. But for now, you have a way of downloading a template, adjusting it, looking at some examples of uh, essentially how to do like linking of equations right so if I come down here right equation one but then if I want to refer to equation one right I can just do this at sign of equation one and then the equation is labeled equation one right so um, I can also I usually default all of my out-of-line equations generally sit between two dollar signs like this and inline equations right uh, f of x equals 2 times x squared, right? I'll get rid of the multiplication symbol, right? So f of x is 2x squared. See it here. Um, we can do a new line so that way it looks. And all my inline equations, the dollar signs must be attached to the first and last character. If you put spaces, it puts it out of line, right? So I generally... I've adopted a, a notation of in line, it's attached, out of line, I put them between them with spaces. But it's up to personal coding preference how you want to do it. Um, you can label equations when they're like this, uh, but you can't label them when they're in line. So, you know, having, having this um, is really nice because as you type your document, you may want to refer to an earlier equation or uh, a different equation, you know, multiple times. And this allows you to do that uh, very simply, right? So um, this is just a good starting point for anyone who wants to uh, type a paper for a conference. Another thing we can do is uh, we can look at other templates. Uh, we can go to, um, I don't know, we can pick up a, a IEEE one. So you go to the IEEE one, we can copy that text. Uh, well, actually, you know, this time let's copy all the files. So let's go to the, this is the template file. We'll go to the charged IEEE file. And then what I want to do is just, I'm going to do a different thing. I'm going to download all of these files from this template. Uh, will it let me do it? Hmm. It won't, it doesn't tell me I can, but maybe I just come to this and I just copy this. So I'll go to templates and then we'll go to, I'm in my types folder and I'm going to get clone. I'm going to get clone all these templates in here. And now there should be a templates folder and I triple E and there's all the files associated with this, which you know, the thumbnail is what essentially what you're going to be looking at when you're done. So this is a double column template. You have the actual, um, let's open this in VS Code so we can look at this. So open folder and go to the templates, uh, file, open folder, templates, charged IEEE, open. And I'm not going to save any changes. Okay, so in here, you have the type file. So let's preview that. So there's my type file. And these are my, my bib tech. This is my reference. These are my references. And in another presentation, I'll go into more detail about uh, the bib tech files. Um, and this is the temp, this lib.type. So any template you're going to download will have an associated TYP file, type file. And that is your uh, template. And this template is used to do all the formatting. So if you want to, you know, make adjustments to the formatting, you know, for whatever conference, you go through this and you can dissect this entire template. Now look, this is only 181 lines. But if you looked at the IEEE template for LaTeX, you'd see it's, it's hundreds and hundreds of lines long. So what's really nice is this is digestible, it's readable, 
um, and understandable. Now, granted, it's not easy for a first-time user, but over time, uh, you should be able to break into this and understand, well, this is third level headings. This is the numbering convention I'm going to use, right? And so, you know, the, that text will be italicized, right? So, because it has these underscores. So there's essentially a way to understand this uh, text that you could use for um, adjusting whatever template. And so this will get you running if you wanted to do an IEEE uh, template. Um, you could you could come in here and see he has some lorem and he has an equation and so you can basically uh, type an IEEE document uh, and not really very quickly with this template. So this is um, types and hopefully you found this a little handy. Uh, thanks and I'll try to make some more videos in the future. Uh, please let me know if there's anything specifically uh, you would like to know more about. Maybe it'll help me learn uh, better and uh, appreciate that. Thank you.